Hello guys, in this tutorial, we are going to learn about response in Postman. But before that, let us quickly revise what responses are. HTTP response is information that the server sends us in response to the request that we had sent earlier. We had seen that HTTP response consists of several components. So let us quickly revisit those. First of all, HTTP response consists of a status line which is the first line of the response. This status line consists of the HTTP protocol that was used along with the status code and the status code in string format. Then we have the status code which is a code ranging from 100 to 599 which denote what is the status of the request that we sent. Then there are response headers which are the additional information that the server sent us along with the actual response. These headers can be used to make intelligent decisions by the client. And then finally we have the response body, which is the actual resources that we were interested in when we sent the request. Now that we have revised what responses are, let us move to Postman and see how to evaluate responses in Postman. So we are going to cover the following things. We'll see the request information section in Postman, then we'll visit the response body, headers and status code. As well as we'll see some additional information of response in Postman and some extra features. So here we are in our Postman tool. So far we had sent a request to our bookstore API to get books and we had received a response. Now let us study the response in detail in this tutorial. So the section that you see below the request builder section is the response section. We'll study the different parts of this section one by one in detail. So if you see on the top right corner of this section, we see that there's a status information available to us. In our case, it is 200 OK. As you can see, Postman also gives us a detailed information about what 200 means in general. So this will be helpful in case you encounter a status code which you are not aware of. Along with that, we also get a string description of the status code. So 200 means OK. Moving on, we have a time section. This is nothing but the time taken by the server to respond to the request sent by the postman. If we hover over it, we see that there's a detailed breakdown of the time taken for different events right from the socket initialization to the downloading of the response and the total time taken. This analysis can be helpful in primary performance testing of any API. Next to time, we have the size. It shows the size of request and response and the breakdown of size of each component of request and response. Again, this can be helpful in preliminary analysis of the request and response. Next, let's move on to the body section and we'll see the different options available here. So body section is nothing but the place where our actual response is displayed. In our case, it is the list of books. If we see, there are different options available for us to view the body. And if we change the option, the way the response is displayed changes. Let us see all of them in detail. The first one is the pretty, which is the one that we are in right now. As you can guess, pretty is nothing but the response displayed in a properly formatted way. We see that there are a number of options available here to display the pretty response. So we can display these types of responses in pretty format in Postman. This helps us in a way that the response is more readable and it is easier to analyze the response. Next to pretty, we have the raw format, which is nothing but the raw text format of any response. Next to that, we have preview. The preview section is especially helpful when the response is in format of HTML. So the preview section does nothing but to render the HTML page of the HTML response that we have received. Since in our case, we have not received an HTML response. We see the output similar to what we saw in raw. But in certain cases, server responds with HTML pages by default, especially in cases of errors. And in those cases, a HTML page will be rendered similar to the one we have in browser. And that is when this section is helpful. Next to that, we have a visualize section. This section is helpful when we have added some test scripts and also added some graphics to visualize our test. Since we do not have any test scripts right now for this request, this section is empty. 
so we have seen the body section in detail now let's move on to the cookies section since our response doesn't have any cookies this section is empty but if there are any cookies then those will be visible here next to cookies we have headers the response headers are displayed here in tabular format and one thing worth noting is that next to each header we have a i symbol which gives us extra information about that header so this will be helpful for you to understand what the particular header means like in this case content type indicates the resource media type and since ours is json its value is application json so similarly there are other headers available and you can hover over it and check in detail what it means next to headers we have a test result section it is an important feature of postman that allows us to write test scripts that will run on the response that we received from the server since we do not have any test script associated with this request this section is empty we will study about test scripts in detail in further tutorials but for now just remember that this section will contain the test results of those test scripts now that we have seen different sections in postman available to view the response let us move on to see some additional features that are available to operate on these responses so as you can see we have an important feature over here to save response when we click on it we have two options available one is save as example and another is save to a file if we click on save as an example a new tab opens up in which all the details of the request as well as the response that we had received is available and when we say save example it gets saved along with this name so say tomorrow you want to share this collection with someone in your team and give them example of how the get books api request and response looks like this will be available in this collection so if i just close this tab we see that the example is available over here and if we click on it we get the request and the response even without hitting the server so this can be put into use in a number of ways so second option that we had was to save to a file when we click on it we are asked to save it to a location so i'll just name it as get books response and click on save and it says that it downloaded the response so basically what it did was download the json response so this was the response that we received and it can be later on used for other purposes so this can be an important feature when we want to save certain response or we want to share the responses with the team and many other purposes that you can think of so i'll just move to the body tab again another way to copy the response that is available here is by the copy button that you can see over here so if you just click on it it says that it copied to clipboard and then you can normally just paste it anywhere you like so this is one of the operation that we can do on the response next to it we see a search button now say that the response that you have received is quite huge and you wish to search for a particular thing in that response so this utility will be handy when doing such things for example say in if in this list of books i want to search if there is something related to java and i see that i have a number of results and you can just navigate through and see for yourself another way of doing search is by simply being in the response body section and clicking on control f on windows and you get similar kind of option over here so this concludes our tutorial about responses in postman we have seen how to view various sections of response in postman and how postman helps us in analyzing that response